Hello guys, how are we doing? It's uh, CJVDHX here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you all how to uh, create a watermark um, using Aperture 3. Um, if you don't already have a watermark, uh, check out some of my other videos and uh, I can show you how to make a watermark in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, basically what a watermark does is it adds protection for maybe any photos that you might be putting on the web, a forum, on your Facebook, MySpace. Um, it basically just states that that's your photo and that's your protection. Alright, so with no further ado, we will get started here. First of all, you will need a watermark. Um, I'm going to get mine open right here real quick. Mine is actually right there. I'm going to put that out here a while. Alright, and then you will need to open Aperture. Um, I'm going to start with this photo right here. Um, I have some other ones, just some other pictures of my car. Well, my old car, I sold this car. But anyway, I'm going to use, not that one, that one already has one. I'm going to use this one right here. So basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Aperture. You're going to want to go to Presets image export you're gonna wanna choose your size I'm gonna use right here uh, this JPEG fit with 1024 by 1024 here I'm gonna select my image format I'm gonna be using JPEG um, also your image quality I'm gonna do 12 um, also, you're going to want to click this box right here where it says show watermark right here. You can select the position of the watermark you want it in. Um, for this one, I think I'm going to do uh, I think I'm going to do lower left for this one. <clears throat> you can also adjust the opacity of it. Um, just move this out of here. Yeah, I'm going to do lower left. And then if you're probably not going to already have a watermark there, so you're going to want to hit choose watermark, select the watermark. Also, you're going to want to click this box right here, scale watermark. Make sure that box is checked. Basically, what that will do is that will resize the watermark according to your uh, image size. Um, now, basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit OK. And then on the picture, that you just selected to have that watermark on, you're going to right click on it, you're going to hit export version, export version, click it, now it's going to ask you to save your watermark or your picture that you chose the watermark to be on. Make sure that you use the same um, width that you previously chose in that other box. Um, Mine's 1024 by 1024. Just make sure you do select that. It can mess it up if you don't. And then basically, choose where you want to save it to. I'm going to do it to my desktop for demonstration purposes. And then hit export version. Now, I'm done here. I'm going to open this up in preview. And as you can see, that is how you add a watermark. Um, it's a little big. Guess it didn't have to be that big. It's just real big because it's a small. It's a real small image. This image right here is only, I want to say maybe like 800 by seven and a quarter, maybe something like that. I can show you um, something else here how it would look on a bigger image. It um, really all depends on like your image size and all that you kinda gotta play with it a little bit um, let me get to a bigger image here uh, let me just find one I can use maybe say this one some of these right here now I'm gonna use this one yeah. see I wanna use these the Dalmatians here like I said before you go up here to Aperture Presets, image export. Um, already did all this. Right click, export version. 
export version. See now, as you can simply see here, this is a lot better. You know what I mean? That's a lot clearer watermark. Um, that one's like absolutely perfect. Um, and like I said, you kind of have to adjust. I, I know like you're going to need to go into Photoshop and you're going to need to create. Um, I can go over that in my next video. But anyway, you'll just kind of have to play with it with the size. Like I think this size right here in Photoshop, this is pixels, of course. I think it was 450 by one and a quarter. Um, so it's a relatively medium size image, I would say. But I just wanted to show you guys that. And uh, don't forget, check out some of my other videos on um, how to create a watermark itself in Photoshop.